Good morning children. Today we shall learn about Pythagoras theorem. But first, let us learn about few usage of geometry in real life. Aman drives 4 km towards west and then 3 km towards north. What is the distance between his present position and the starting point? You know, we can represent this problem using a triangle. AB here is 4 km, then BC which is 3 km. Now, we have to find the length of AC which is the distance between his present position and the starting position. As we can see, this is a right angle triangle and angle ABC is the right angle here. We can say AB and BC are the arms of that right angle triangle and these two sides are also called the legs of the triangle. The other side AC which is opposite of the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Here we need to find the length of the hypotenuse. So the lengths of the legs are given and we need to find the length of the hypotenuse. How do we do this? You know a Greek mathematician named Pythagoras discovered the relation between the legs and the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle in 6th century. According to his theory, if the triangle had a right angle that is 90 degrees and you made a square on each of the three sides, then the biggest square had the exact same area as the other two squares put together. In simple words, we can say the area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse is the sum of the area of squares drawn on the other two sides that is drawn on the base and the perpendicular of the right angle triangle. Say the base is of length B units, the perpendicular is of A units and the hypotenuse is C units. Then the sum of the area of square 1 which is A square and the area of square 2 which is B square is equal to the area of square 3, the biggest square and it is equal to C square. Hence C square is equal to A square plus B square. And this is what Pythagoras theorem explains the relation between the sides of the right angle triangle. The Pythagoras theorem says the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So according to it the hypotenuse squared is equal to base squared plus perpendicular squared. Now using this theorem let us find out the distance AC or the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle ABC. Here the base of the right angle triangle is AB and it is equal to 4 kilometers. Same way BC is the perpendicular and it is equal to 3 kilometers. Now according to the Pythagoras theorem, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides which means the square of the hypotenuse that is AC square would be equal to 4 square plus 3 square. Now 4 square means 16 and 3 square is equal to 9. Thus, AC square is equal to 16 plus 9 which is equal to 25. 
So we can say AC square is equal to 25. Now 25 means 5 square. So we can say AC is 5. And hence the distance between Aman's starting point A and the current position C is 5 kilometers. And we solve this using the Pythagoras theorem which says in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So remember children, what is Pythagoras theorem? The Pythagoras theorem explains the relation between the sides of a right angle triangle. It says the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides which means square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of base plus square of perpendicular. For example, here in the right angle triangle ABC, AC is the hypotenuse, AB is the base and BC is the perpendicular. And here AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, if we know the length of any two sides of a right angle triangle, we can find the length of the third side using this theorem. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.